So this is the beginning of the 1,500 kilometer challenge from uh, Sardinia in Italy all the way to Belgium. Uh, so let's fire up the stuff here and see what we got. It's uh, 4 in the morning. Um, the Odo is reading 79.947, so we're gonna go over thousand on this trip let's reset the energy economy the average speed the driving distance elapsed time and let's reset the trip meters both of them and let's have a look at uh, leaf spy oh by the way the range is showing 93 kilometers but this car has driven uh, uphill the last five kilometers and that's why it's so low. So don't pay attention to that. Let's see what Leaf Spy has to say. So Leaf Spy is saying 15 kilowatt hours. Uh, I just fully charge and let it balance it. So it's not so great. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive uphill a little bit, uh, head towards Olbia, but um, stop after five kilometers and uh, take uh, some uh, test charge at an NLX uh, charge station and also try to reduce the the, um, the requirements for energy because it's going to be uphill and and also in the direction of the next charging point so hopefully it will help a little bit and there doesn't seem to be wind so that's a good thing uh, I have to, the first uh, one. It's gonna be the toughest one. The first, uh, the first segment is 137 kilometers, I think, to the next uh, charging point. It's a fast charger in Obia. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna make it, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna um, hyper mile, so I'm not gonna drive fast. I'm gonna drive at around 50 kilometers per hour average. And uh, so the idea is to get there. It's not to get there fast. It's just to get there. And let's give it another reset. Lapse time. All right. Let's go. So I've driven 5.3 uh, kilometers, and I have arrived to the first charging point, which is in Suni. And uh, this is uh, just an AC charger, slow charger. Uh, I'm gonna hook up and just uh, top up the tank. And uh, we'll see if my NLX subscription works. That's the main uh, goal here. But also to extend the range because I've driven a little bit uphill now. So I have a high, higher starting point and this gives me an advantage because the destination is at sea level. So I want to maximize that. Uh, it's really close to the maximum range of this car. So I need to take, I, I can't take any chances. So let's go and charge this up. So I don't know why it didn't work, but it showed me you have to accept the terms and conditions and subscribe. But I was already subscribed and I already had accepted the terms and conditions. So I went into the menu and accepted the terms and conditions. And what I also did is change the language setting of the app to Italian. And somehow now it's charging so I don't know which one worked but either of them helped to activate charging ah this kind of stuff needs to be more straightforward but anyway it's charging now so let's not complain and it's a slow just a slow charging so probably 15 minutes until it's fully charged I'm gonna relax and uh, yeah just try to plan the rest of the trip right now So as you can see from the uh, leaf spy readings, I already consumed 5% of the battery and 0.8 kilowatt hours. So it's good that I can charge now to the full, full. I hope that it charges beyond 90%, hopefully to 93, 94, but this is just random. Uh, it's just what the BMS decides to do. Uh, so we'll see. And so hopefully in less than half an hour, I'll be ready. Top 20 minutes. I have time, so 
uh, I just want to make sure that I make it to my first destination because it's 140 kilometers almost so uh, yeah I, I have no idea if I can make it normally I should be able to make it I already I've already done this trip before uh, but there's just no security and it had rained and you can see the pavement is kind of damp and it's drying already so this half an hour is good It'll allow the pavement to dry further and dry pavement means more range so that's good anyway oh, it's starting to rain this is not good it's really not good I hope it's, it's not gonna be huge rain it's very localized but rain is not good So no matter what I tried, it doesn't seem to want to charge beyond 15.1 kilowatt hours and 90.5% or 90.6%. So I decided uh, to just uh, just go for it. We don't have I don't have so much time. My my boat is leaving in five hours, and I want to get close to my boat and fully charge so um, I might need, want to do some grocery shopping I want to buy a few things that I want to take with me so yeah anyway I'm gonna um, put my cruise control on and set it to 60 and uh, try to maintain that speed I don't think I need more than that on the video but uh, the road is damp it's kind of wet you can see patches of water here and that's really not good for the range so I'm really really driving conservatively 50 kilometers per hour right now um, and trying to maximize region, region uh, especially on these downhill stretches I'm going really slow I'm just just going on the region, trying to uh, get back as much as possible. So with about 105 kilometers left to the destination and the charger, the gasometer is showing 73 kilometers of range. So about 30 some kilometers are short of the destination. I know better. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. So, guess I'm just showing 78 kilometers of range, and OBI is still 99. So now you see that we have reduced to, to about 21 kilometers shortage, but it should be fine. We'll see how it goes. It should be fine. So a quick update, having driven 100 kilometers from the start of the trip, uh, I still have 30 kilometers of rain showing, but I need to drive about 40 kilometers. So I'm short on range, but according to my calculations, it's fine. If I check least by, I have 6.5 kilowatt hours, and uh, it's uh, it's kind of downhill from here. Uh, not yet, but it's gonna get down here and if you look at the consumption it's about 100 watt hours per kilometer which is very very low it's excellent so the low battery warning should come up any moment now um, because the battery is getting low but we are already in Olbia, there's an airport there, so I'm really not far. I just realized though that the charger that I was uh, planning to use is in maintenance, so I need to drive to the next charger, which is not far away. Low battery oh, charge. Low battery charge. 
this means that I still have four kilowatt hours. I can make it to the next charger though, so it'll be fine. But mm, not happy about the charging maintenance. So this kind of stuff is uh, why you need to drive conservatively. And I drove 131 kilometers so far. Keep right onto Via Principe Umberto, then keep right. It's the first time I see this charger on the map, so it must be a new charger. I've never seen it before. Keep right onto Via Principe Umberto. Uh, and then. In 350 meters, arrive at Via Principe Umberto. Exit roundabout onto Via Principe Umberto. In 300 meters, at the roundabout, take the fourth exit onto Via Le Principe Umberto. So this must be a new charger because it's the first time I see this thing here. It must be like, like super new crazy super new 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 yeah I never seen this before it's never popped up on the map that thing looks new great let's have a charge but before charging let's look at the stats so 135 kilometers driven 130 since the last charge so we started with 15 kilowatt hours uh 15.1 i think it was and yeah it drove 130 kilometers and i think let's have a look at um, the stats but i think i have three kilowatt hours left so yeah it looks like it's correct uh it only burn like 90 watt hours per kilometer and let's look at the average speed oh, 50.9 kilometers per hour average speed so it's not bad at all amazed actually good job leave good job took us two hours and a half to drive yeah 135 kilometers so 130 kilometers on three kilowatt hours um sorry on 12 kilowatt hours that's really good good stuff so i've been able to start the charge and a quick update so uh actually sleep spy was showing me 3.5 kilowatt hours of capacity left and i started with 15.1 so it's actually 3.6 so it's about 11.5 kilowatt hours spent driving 130 kilometers which is astonishing uh, it's just nine, 90 watt hours per kilometer really at this speed at around 50 kilometers per hour average you can't beat the leaf it doesn't burn anything you can go forever you can you can drive forever uh, so in theory um, and probably in practice too uh, with a full tank of um, 15 16 kilowatt hours I should be able to drive hundreds uh, 80 kilometers at an average speed of 50 kilometers per hour so quite impressed quite impressive yeah good job leaf good job so we are approaching the ship uh, that we're gonna board it's uh, gonna be that one right there let's see if we can get on board